I met Dick uh, many, many, many years ago, uh, at least 40 or 50 years ago. And we have been involved in a series of business negotiations and transactions together. We've sat on community boards. We've been on bank boards together. Our history goes back a, a long, long time. Well, Dick and I first met 35 years ago. I came to Denver to run a bank that uh, Dick was on the board of. We became fast friends and uh, we've shared some great experiences together. You know, as I think about my dad, I, I, probably what I'm most proud of, his willingness to get involved is probably unparalleled. You know, I think if anybody asks, you can expect my dad to say yes. Probably the most endearing thing about him is uh, you know, he, he will say yes. It doesn't matter if you're the busboy in the restaurant or the owner, he says hello. I think it comes back from the dairy business when they really knew how to treat people well and my dad's continued that through his whole life. Dick possesses what I think some great, great qualities. The three that I most respect from Dick is perspective, humor, and most importantly, integrity. Uh, you can follow Dick and he will never lead you the wrong direction. No one deserves the Lifetime Achievement Award uh, more than Dick. He has served on the boards of, and more importantly, chaired the boards of virtually every uh, significant charitable and civic organization in Denver. No one could be more deserving of the Lifetime Achievement Award than Dick Robinson. Why does my dad deserve this? He's been very deserving of so many awards, and I just think that he's very selfless about what he does, and to be honored by your peers, your community, and your friends is very special, and I know it's special to him. You know, I think somebody that's as selfless, willing to be involved, willing to support all the things that, that, that our father has supported deserves a lifetime achievement. People kid Dick that he's received uh, so many awards, but the facts are he can't receive enough awards. He is so involved in this community, so worthwhile, such a leader that he is the person, the one person that should be rewarded and applauded for all of his activities. People that have benefited greatly uh, from our community have a real obligation to give back to that community in many ways. And as I said, Dick has done that in spades. So if you have received, it is paramount that you give back. Because of his willingness to get involved, because of his willingness to support things, reciprocally, it's put him in a position to ask others for help also. Dad would tell you that we all have an obligation to support our community, and that works both ways. I think we've been really lucky because he's instilled within us that it's our responsibility to give back to the community and he's a shining example of this. We're very proud of him. What he's done in the community, what a labor of love for him. The man Dick Robinson is just a character. Uh, Dick, there is no other person than Dick. They say that um, they threw away the key. Uh, when Dick was created, uh, but he is terrific and uh, Richard Robinson, we all love you. Thank you.